नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी वन इन दिस वन इट इज गिवन दैट हाइपरबोला पास इज थ्रू द पॉइंट पी रूट टू कॉमा रूट थ्री एंड हैज फोकाई ऑन प्लस माइनस टू कॉमा जीरो देन वी हैव टू फाइंड द टेंजेंट एट पॉइंट पी टू द हाइपरबोला सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील हैव टू फाइंड इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस हाइपरबोला सो विल अज्यूम दैट एक्स स्क्वायर बाई ए स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर बाई बी स्क्वायर equal to 1 okay this is the hyperbola because we have seen that foci is on x axis so therefore the its axis will be on x axis so foci is plus minus 2 comma 0 so therefore we can say that a square plus b square will be equal to 4 so this will be our first equation next it is passing through root 2 comma root 3 that means the point root 2 comma root 3 will satisfy its equation so we'll put in that so that will give you 2 by a square minus 3 by b square equal to 1 now from first equation this is our second equation from first equation we can say that a square will be equal to 4 minus b square so that you can replace over here 2 upon 4 minus b square minus 3 by b square equal to 1 so this gives us an quadratic equation in b square now once you solve this quadratic equation that will give you b square is equal to 3 therefore a square will be equal to 1 so our equation of hyperbola will be x square minus y square by 3 equal to 1 okay so now we have to find equation of tangent at the point root 2 comma root 3 that was our point given to us so using point form of tangent we can write the equation of tangent so that will give you x root 2 Minus y root three by three equal to one. So that will be root two x minus y by root three. That will be equal to one. Now question has asked through which point this tangent is passing. Now we can easily compare and see that it is passing through two root two comma three root three. So therefore the first option will be the correct option for this question. Next question is question number eighty-two. The distance we have to find of the point one comma three comma minus seven from the plane which passes through the point one comma minus one comma minus one. So first of all, we can write equation of a plane which is passing through one comma minus one comma minus one, and that can be written as a into x minus one plus b into y plus one. Plus c into z plus one equal to zero. Now it is said that in the question, this given the just now which the written uh, the equation of plane which we have written is perpendicular to two given lines. Okay, and a b c will be the direction ratio along the normal to the given plane. So therefore, we can write that. Yeah, as it is perpendicular to the lines, so from here we can take dot product, and that will give you a minus two b plus three c equal to zero. So this is our first equation. And next, if we take dot product with two comma minus one comma minus one, that will give you two a minus b minus c is equal to zero. so this is our second equation now if we solve these two equations that will give us a is to b is to c that will be equal to 5 is to 7 is to 3 okay so the equation once we put the value of abc over here so that will give you 5x minus 1 Plus seven y plus one plus three z plus one 
equal to 0. So that will finally give you 5x plus 7y plus 2 plus 3z plus 5 equal to 0. So this is the required equation of plane. Now what we have to do is we have to find distance of the point 1 comma 3 comma minus 7 and using the formula we can find the distance distance of 1 comma minus 3 comma 7 from the plane and using the formula that will give you Five into one plus seven into minus three plus three into seven upon under root of five square plus seven square plus three square. So that will give us ten upon root 83. So therefore the required answer for this question will be first option. The first option will be correct. Next to question number 83. In this one it is asked to find the image of point P along the plane 2x plus 3y minus 4z plus 22 equal to 0 measured along the given line okay so question is this is the given plane a point P is given and its image somewhere here Q will be formed point P is 1 comma minus 2 comma 3 and it is said that this line joining PQ is parallel to x by 1 equal to y by 4 equal to z by 5. So first step is we can write the equation of PQ. So equation of PQ. Next we will write the equation of PQ and that will be x minus 1 by 1 equal to y plus 2 by 4 equal to z minus 3 by 5 okay so this is the equation of pq so what we can do is this point pq this line pq which intersects let's say at point n so for point n it is lying also on the line pq as well as on the plane so for point n we can assume this to be equal to some constant k so point n x coordinate will be k plus 1 4k minus 2 and 5k plus 3. Now this point n coordinates can be put into the equation of given plane. The equation of given plane is 2x plus 3y minus 4z plus 22 equal to 0. Now we can put this 2 into k plus 1 plus 3 into 4k minus 2 minus 4 into 5k plus 3 plus 22 equal to 0. So that will give you k is equal to 1. Okay. So therefore that is for q k will be equal to 2. So if for k for q the k value of k is 2 then the coordinates of k will be 3 comma 5 comma 13. So now using distance formula we can find the distance PQ as 
वन स्क्वायर प्लस फोर स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव स्क्वायर सो दैट विल बी इक्वल टू टू रूट फोर्टी टू सो दैट इज आवर फाइनल आंसर सो टू रूट फोर्टी टू सो दैट ऑप्शन फर्स्ट वन विल बी करेक्ट